Hello. Hello. I'm waiting for the, the chatter to die down. There we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our farewell for our Deputy Commanding General for the Roca Army. We are going to be saying a very uh, heartfelt goodbye. See you later to our DCGR. And he will have some comments, and we will present him with a gift, and everyone will have a chance to come by and farewell and shake his hand and tell him how awesome he is and how much you'll miss him. So with that said, sir, your floor. First off, thank you, everybody, for, for coming today. Uh, you know, in typical Rock Army fashion, we find out and we execute quick on, on transitions, and uh, drill officers are even more rapid. Uh, just like in the U.S. Army, uh, that we would let, that we would like in some, some cases. But for us, we got a whole week notice, not even a week notice, but a, a pretty pretty quick notice on, uh, on Joe Kim's uh, departure. Not going too far away, by the way. <laughs> we know where he's going to work next, and he is uniquely going to be very involved in division-level exercises because he's going to be a great partner for us as the chief of fires at the GMC headquarters. So the good thing is uh, Joe Kim is going to the GEO uh, Chief uh, Fires Directorate, going to work day to day with Colonel Anderson uh, when he plugs into the U.S. Fires Directorate in his, in his conference room. In his conference room. <laughs> and so he's not going too far away from an exercise perspective. We're still going to have a lot of interaction with him. Uh, you know, he and I, just two weeks ago, we're pondering the power of having him stay on for a second year. Uh, you know, at some point uh, in the next six months, um, uh, there will be a, a, a new division commander here that would be a good bridging strategy from, for the Rock Army to, to be able to, to share best practices, ideas, and understanding, but that is not going to be the case. However, uh, his replacement, Brigadier General Kim, as well, is coming uh, to us from CGFE CFC Chief of Fires, and so comes in with a wealth uh, and deep understanding of the O plan as well, and uh, and so uh, and we're going to have uh, a, a a person that's already worked on a combined staff, uh, and, and probably he's done so multiple times, but he's got to come down and come on to the the better side of the airfield and, and integrate into the division next Monday um, is when he'll show up, and so um, it, it's been it's been a quick year. And we've done a lot in your tenure in the in the division. You know, we fought fought through, we fought to train at the combined joint the combined joint fire coordination exercise, where you were instrumental in integrating and gaining participation from Rock Cannon battalions, and got them to a point where they were comfortable uh, fighting in a fairly dynamic environment during our CJ FCX. So that that was. Very significant. I can't thank you enough for all of your hard work in synchroni integrating, synchronizing, and coordinating to get those Rock Army units, along with the entire Rock staff, delivering that capability into that to that exercise. That was pretty pretty interesting. In, in addition, from a tech tech effects perspective, in partnership with our C2 team, bringing in um, tech effects in the form of uh, 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 electronic warfare live into that same training environment. Um, along the way, helping us understand better the interoperability challenges that exist at the tactical level uh, between our two armies was instrumental in uh, eventually setting the stage for us to be able to present that last week at the C55 ISRT summit. I think for the first time, to include our own uh, CFC and USFK level leaders, finally understood the challenges that exist at the at the tactical level from an interoperability perspective in terms of how we really can communicate with each other. What, more importantly, what we need to do to be better in, in the future with either policy changes or some, some, some key fieldings and policy changes, probably a combination of both. So it was, I, I can't thank you enough as well, General Kemp, for doing that for, for the team. And then along the way, all the mentorship you provided, not only all the Rock, Rock Army staff, but also our own, uh, to make sure we were uh, truly were a combined team. Uh, we're sad to see you go, uh, but uh, we know you're not going too far away, and, uh, and, and we're lucky for that. And, and so it's, uh, it's our honor and privilege to, today to, to come in and, uh, and, and, and properly say goodbye from the combined division uh, in, in a couple ways here. 
However, uh, what you need to know about ROC, any, any foreign uh, uh, general officer, uh, is it requires a, a very high level of approval. So I was not able to react quick enough on your award to have it here today because it requires it to go to Second. the SECDEF. The Secretary of Defense, General, uh, Lloyd Austin, will have to approve your award. It will come to you. We know where you work. So we, will, we will bring it to you at some point in the near future, or in the future, more precisely. But, so that's coming. Without, without further, further ado, I'm going to turn it back over to or yeah, Come on up here with me. Um, and uh, you know, one of, the, one of my favorite gifts, let's go over here, but, uh, as you've all figured out by now, one of my favorite gifts is a tomahawk. Um, it's the, the primary tool of a warrior, and we are certainly in the warrior division. So this is ceremon ceremonial. However, in a pinch, can be a weapon. <laughs> I don't know. I won't tell you why, but I, I, you know, there, there's enough of a, an attachment point to this uh, staff. If you need to, you can defend yourself with great honor. So on behalf of the entire warrior division, I present your very own Warrior Six for the Warrior Tomahawk. Thank you, Jim. Mm, I can't believe it is the last uh, uh, time to speak uh, uh, in front of you as a DCGR. Uh, it seems like yesterday the patching ceremony was held. Uh, the time flies like an arrow. Today, I'm going to leave here uh, the, the one and only combined division in the world. And my next assignment is uh, GOC Chief of Fires as a Warrior 64. I have put an effort for combined combat readiness, combined training, and development of interoperability over the past year. Along with this, thanks to Endeavor of Warrior 6, Division Staffs, Commanders, and Sergeant, uh, Command Sergeant Majors of a subordinate unit. So we can take a huge step for the, for the combined division. I would like to extend my uh, heartfelt uh, gratitude of, uh, to all of you uh, helping me serve as a DCGR. Most of all, I have learned a lot from Commanding General, Major General Lesperance. Uh, thanks to your great leadership, sir, uh, TRID RUCD is able to show each uh, the strongest and greatest combat power in the world. Commanding Sergeant Major Franco, uh, He's a role model for rock NCOs. He always works together with the soldiers in one team and set an example here. The DCGS General Robinson, uh, DCGM Colonel Anderson, uh, for three domains in our combined division, operations, sustainment, and combined operations. You have gradually shared the information and given me more recommendations. I deeply appreciate it. Uh, starting from Chief of Staff Boche, uh, Command Staff, uh, Combined Staffs, Warriors, uh, you are the excellent uh, uh, talent uh, proceeding the best output uh, through the close coordination and deep discussion. I believe based on mutual, uh, mutual trust of team, our team is getting better and becoming uh, through one team. MSC Commanders and uh, Command Sergeant Majors, I will never forget you trying the best to make sure the combined readiness posture with your contribution to communicating with the soldiers and warriors in the field. It was a great pleasure and honor making the glorious history of a, a second infantry division, Lagenius Combined Division, together in 2022. We have improved the combined operations capability uh, through combined tactical discussion with the Service Corps and uh, Second Fleet, and conducted the CJFCX uh, electric warfare training, GCC counterfire FTX, combined CWMD trainings, and 
wet gap crossing tra uh, trainings. Also, we have increased uh, uh, mutual understanding and friendship with many rock units uh, and civil communities. Although I'm living uh, here, our combined division continues its glory and history of second to none. And I will also try to try the best to serve as the bridge between GOC and the combined division to ensure ironclad uh, combined combat readiness posture. Finally, I would like to express my utmost respect and uh, deference, deference to all of you showing your dedications to stability and security on the Korean Peninsula. I'm looking forward to the further development of a second ID and Lagan U.S. Combined Division. Also, it's a great honor to be given a glorious award. I will treasure it as a family uh, higher room and hand it down to my descendant uh, for generations. Thank you. Second to none, fight to not, we go together, 같이 갑시다. 감사합니다. We can go ahead and have our command group lead off and say your final farewell, and then we'll bring the room around. <laughs>